horrible at baking, but that doesn't stop me from trying. They're gonna become these gorgeous lumps. Oh my God. Good morning. So as you probably know, I have a few cooking videos on my channel. I love to cook and I'm pretty decent at it. I also really love baking, but unlike cooking, I am horrible at baking. More often than not, my creations come out completely burnt or just dreadfully awfully tasty. <laughs> but that doesn't stop me from trying. So today, I'm going to try making chocolate chip cookies from scratch. I've never tried to do this before in my life. If I bake, I use like the box cakes or the ready-made batter and I even mess those up. So we'll see how it goes. I have my Bible study tonight. It's once a week and I just, I wanna bring in some treats for my friends. And like I said, I love to bake. So I am determined to get better at it. And so I went on Pinterest and I found a recipe. I'll put it in the description if y'all are interested. And it looks simple. They even have a video on the page of really cute with music on like how to make the cookies and they made it look so easy so I don't know let's do this okay so it calls for eight tablespoons of salted butter I only have unsalted so whoops half a cup of white sugar a fourth cup of light brown sugar mine is apparently dark brown I don't know <laughs> a teaspoon of vanilla one egg a cup and a half of all-purpose flour though it says you might need to add more if needed and a half teaspoon of baking soda, a fourth teaspoon of salt, but it says there they always add a little extra. I, I don't know what a little extra is. It's not a measurement, whatever. And a three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips. Okay, hippo, we got this. First step, preheat the oven. Preheated, now we gotta melt the butter. The butter is melting, may have run into an issue. It says to use a mixer I don't have a mixer. I thought I had like a handheld one. I don't. So we are gonna do this the old fashioned way. <laughs> Mixing bowl, that's important. At least I have one of these. And it says to mix the butter with the sugars and then put in the vanilla and the egg, but it says don't beat the egg for too long, like 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, I've got my favorite whisking tool here. My dad got this for me as a gift. I think he got it from Publix, but I am sure Amazon has it. I just, I don't know what it's called. It's cool though. Okay, butter, white sugar, and brown sugar. Oh, okay. Now mix it to, oh, that brown sugar is really packed. Okay, loop. <laughs> Come on. Maybe this is why I need an electric mixer. Oh, there we go. All right, nope, this is gonna work. We're doing good. Mix it till it's creamy. It looks lumpy. Oh my gosh. Come on, brown sugar, you gotta break up. Okay, so the brown sugar was just staying lumpy. This doesn't look creamy. Oh gosh. So I washed my hands really well again, and I'm breaking up the lumps of brown sugar. Oh. All right, I think that's about, oh, I see another lump. So it doesn't look like the video. Um, it's kind of lumpy, but I think this is about as good as I'm gonna get it. Then it says to add the vanilla and the egg. One teaspoon of vanilla. That's a, that's a teaspoon, right? Yes. And the egg. Okay, you know what? Compared to the video, that doesn't look too far off. So I think, I think so far we're okay. Now we add the flour baking soda and salt. Half teaspoon of baking soda and a fourth teaspoon of salt. Here's a half teaspoon. Wow, that's really tiny. 
Does it even make a difference if it's that little? I mean, I wouldn't know. I don't really bake. Oh. Alright, you got a little extra. Oh, I was supposed to do a little extra of the salt, not the baking stuff, but whatever. And I have unsalted bot. Okay, I guess that's a little extra. And to make up for the fact that I only have unsalted butter, not salted butter. Oh, the flour. <laughs> okay, a cup and a half. Alright, this is messy. I'm going to stand up. There is half a cup, full cup, and a cup and a half. Okay, Let's give it a mix. <laughs> I think this is really where an electric mixer would come in handy. Okay, I see it forming. It said it should form like in between wet and dry dough, and it should be kind of crumbly. Seems a bit too dry to me though. Oh, not really. Okay, so this is mixed. Oh my god, get out of there. Ah. Mr. Whisk, you are better for other purposes, I gotta say. But we're making this work. Alright, shoo. Out. Go. Get out. Okay, then it says to use your hands to push the crumbles together. You know what? I think this is going well. Looks pretty good. And now for the best part, chocolate chips. It says three quarters of a cup. Okay, so when I cook, I am not so strict with measurements. I don't even take measurements, but baking, I have a bad history in baking, so I'm gonna do my due diligence and make sure I do it properly. And incorporate it with your hand. I needed to sit down, but we got our chocolate chip cookie dough batter. And fun fact, Judd and I both do not like cookie dough batter. We think it's so gross, but we like cookies. So I won't be eating the batter. I know a lot of people love batter, but there. All right, now we got to put them on the tray. big warning that says do not over bake it's kind of my specialty so I'm gonna be keeping a close eye on these can you um can you get that another funny story uh, Harlow give good girl one time we left Harlow at home because I don't know uh, there's I don't know we had a reason we just left her at home and we were out for just a moment um, and when we came back this thing was all the way in the living room and Harlow was laying on her cot like, I didn't do anything. <laughs> so she was the only one here. She must have snatched it off of the oven rack. Was that your protest for being left behind? <laughs> Just kidding. Just mischievous. Aren't you, hippo? <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay. That timer was set for 10 minutes. They are definitely not done. I am officially concerned. Shouldn't they be like less spherical and flattening out? It The recipe says to make large balls and put them on the tray like that. So I don't know. Um, Judd's sleeping in this morning, but when he wakes up, he will be my taste tester. <laughs> I don't think they're done, but I just read the instructions again. It says take them out and they're gonna sink down into these dents. What are the words? Uh, dense, buttery, soft cookies that are the best in all the land. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Taking them out. All right, there were promises made that y'all would be the best in all the land. I'm skeptical. I really am. 
All right, y'all, it's said to let them sit for half an hour and they're gonna become these gorgeous lumps. They don't look like anything in the recipe. Oh my God. <laughs> Darn it. I'm gonna wait to try them with Judd. Why are they in balls? Cause they didn't do what they were supposed to do. Moment of truth. Not bad. They're pretty good actually. They are. Wait, don't eat another one's for the church group. <laughs> no, it does taste good. Okay, they just look funny. I baked, I made cookies. Success. Nope, nope. For church. That's not fair. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, Judd ate too many. <laughs> Somehow I made another batch, and this time I like pressed them down instead of leaving them in spears, and I baked them for exactly 10 minutes, and they're even softer and chewier. So, success! I baked, and uh, I take them to church group and it it should be good so with that i will say goodbye and thanks for joining us on this baking adventure